Within this lesson, we'll use the area model and multiplication to show the equivalence of two fractions. Here I have an area model. This area model represents one third. What happens when I draw a dotted line across our figure? I no longer have one third. What I have now is that I have two six. What happened to the size of the fractional units? Well, before it was three, and then now it's six. We had one, and now we actually have two. So what happened is that we had one third, and we were able to go one times two here. One, and now we had two. And with the three, with the thirds, we then actually made the thirds into six, also multiplying by two. So what we have shown is that one third does equal two six, not only by using our area model, but also by showing that multiplication. You'll notice that we multiplied by two not only in the numerator, but also in the denominator. Here I have another area model. This area model is showing one half. Now if I wanted to go ahead and rewrite one half using four times as many units, how many horizontal lines would I need to draw within my area model? four times as many units. Well, going from two then, we'll have to draw three horizontal lines. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight total units. And in this case, we're looking at four of them, and that's why one half does equal four eighths. Here's that multiplication sentence. We started with one half, and what we did is we multiplied the one and that same amount into four there. And then we also had the two, multiplying it by four. We went from two, one, two, to eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's why that one half does equal four eighths. The amount that we have here, that area, is still the same. That's why those are equivalent there. And we've shown our work to show with multiplication that one half does equal four eighths. You'll notice that we went times four and times four we had four times as many units as that one there. Okay, it is your turn. We have our instructions here. We're given this area model, and it's your task to determine an equivalent fraction for the area selected. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you label the original area model as one-fourth? How many horizontal lines did you draw? Some of you might have only drawn one to go ahead and go from one-fourth then. And the multiplication sentence would look like this here. To be able to get that one-fourth equals two-eighths. Now instead of that, you also could have drawn two horizontal lines and you would have gotten this as your multiplication sentence then. That one-fourth equals three-twelfths. And of course your area model would look different.
here's another type of problem. Each of these rectangles represents 1. The shaded fractions have been decomposed into smaller units. Express the equivalent fractions in a number sentence using multiplication. So, when you look at this here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we're looking at one of those. So we had that fraction of 1, 6. And we drew one, two lines to divide each of those into three parts. So our multiplication sentence and our number sentence is 1, 6 equaling 1 times 3 and 6 times 3. So we have 1 times 3, which equals 3, and then we have 6 times 3, which does equal 18. And as you can see in the figure, we do have 1, 2, 3 parts that are shaded out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, out of 18. Therefore, 1, 6 does equal 3 eighteenths. Let me show you two more examples. Here we have one-fifth, and we still have one-fifth here as well. I'm going to show you what would happen if we drew one horizontal line versus if we drew two of them. So let's think about what's going on. With this first one, we had one-fifth. And then by drawing one horizontal line, we've actually made those fifths now into tenths, where we divided each of those parts of, into two. That's why we have to multiply by two there, and we also multiply five by two. One times two is two, and five times two is ten. Now in the lower figure, by drawing two horizontal lines, we have tripled each of those parts. So we started with 1 fifth, and so in the numerator, we have 1 times 3, and in the denominator, we have 5 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 5 times 3 is 15. So we have these equivalent fractions. 1 fifth does equal 2 tenths, and that would also equal 3 fifteenths. In any of those cases, we are talking about that same area. And then so we can show those with an area model, and we can also show that and show those equivalent fractions with our multiplication sentences, where we're multiplying by the same number in the numerator and in the denominator. In fact, even without an area model, we can even show that we can write and find even more equivalent fractions for one-fifth, where we have four twentieths. So we will continue to do work showing fraction equivalents.